Mavis Christine Bedford was born in the very north of England, then immigrated to Australia, where she stayed for four years. On returning to England, she fell in love with a French man and has spent the rest of her life in France, first in the north, then now in the south. She has a dog who takes her walking and many hobbies such as cooking and baking her own bread. Mavis Christine is fascinated by the chateau and cathedrals in France and likes studying the symbolic thought that went into their building. She's also a linguist and enjoys learning new languages. Mavis Christine is the author of five adventure stories expressing the dangerousness and violence of ending modern day slavery, currently writing the sixth. She has a son and four grandchildren and is in love with Provence, a land which inspires her creativity in the natural beauty of the village where she has been living for the past five years. She's a poetess, playwright, and author of five thrillers that are reaching out to cinema and audiovisual. In collaboration with Eurobox, she published No Effing Murder, part of a collection called The Virtual Dreaming Connection, available also in French. Let's discover more, asking directly to the author who's right now connected with us. Hi, Mavis Chris, and welcome to Conoscere TV. Hello, and thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak to you and to so many of your fans. So, how would you describe yourself today? Well, I think today I've, I've got rid of my older personality, which was a linguistic coach, and I've moved into the profession of writing, writing books, writing poetry, writing uh, short stories and writing hard science fiction thrillers. What are you working on at the moment to promote your comedy? Well, in about every possible way I can think of, I've started a channel on YouTube and I read my play in English and I play the uh, songs in the right places. So you can go onto YouTube and listen to the, to the play and listen to the songs. I also write uh, to different producers and distributors and uh, uh, use the uh, every possible way imaginable. <laughs> That's something. You anticipated a question that I have in plan for you. Are you still looking for an agent to reach or and reach out to producers? Uh, yes, I am. I have had a proposal from uh, uh, a person called Jean-Pierre uh, Jean uh, Gonzalez, who would like to produce my play in an audiovisual manner. So, do you think that audiovisual is the answer uh, to bring into public awareness of the problems of scammers on the web? Uh, yes, I think so, because I think today's public uh, likes to see pictures, listens to listen to songs and music, and see live shows and so on, uh, much more than opening opening a book. So, w who would you advise to see uh, this comedy, and of course to read the book? What can they get out of it? Well, in fact, they can get awareness out of it for themselves or for their relations or their friends, because I do go over the different methods of getting through to lonely people looking for love uh, from these love merchants on the web and how they manage to uh, uh, rip them off, in fact. As it is the first time that we have this great chance to see you in person, so thank you again for accepting this invitation. Is there a message that you would like to tell your readers now that you have the chance to? Uh, yes, I would like to ask them to tell as many people as possible about my books and about my play and uh, boost public awareness of what's happening in the real world. Thank you, Chris. Thank you again for your time and we wish you best luck with your book and your comedy. Thank you very much and it was a great pleasure speaking to you. 
and thank you for giving me this opportunity. It's wonderful. Thank you. The pedagogical aspect of this play is no mystery to anybody discovering this unique experience in out of the ordinary story leading us to laugh at our own life experiences. No FN Murder is now available in bookstores and digital platforms. It's a publication by Eurobox.